So we've got a few down there hanging out. Oh, there's a chicken in there. That's great. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great and I am playing on the Too Crafty server once again. I hope this video finds you well. I am doing well. So, what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, I've got a few things that I need to show off to you. The first of which is why I am up here. The second is a little further down there, so we are going to head down there. And then we're going to go take a look at spawn and run a little bit of an errand, okay? So, first things first, let's see what I am up to here. Bring up the F3 screen, and you can see that I am at level 180 and the Y. Okay? And that is because, well, you might have guessed it, I have done part of the witch farm, and that would be the high Y thing. Uh, and what I'm going to do, you can see some of them dropping. Hopefully this works. Okay. Put the space bar. There we go. And you can see why I would be way up there. It makes sure that this farm runs at as good of an efficiency as possible. Look at all that. That's amazing. That's right. I have done some work off camera, ladies and gentlemen. The least of which is that platform. So what I've done, you can see some of it there. Let's pop on down below and you can see a little bit more of it in better detail. And we can just drop down here and we'll be fine. Those sheep are loud. So this is the JL2579 design. And what happens is witches will spawn on that platform and that platform. And almost immediately they will get dropped into that water stream or set of water streams there. You can see them hanging out back there. And then what's going to happen, I'm going to go around because it's rather loud you can see that what happens is they get picked up by those water streams and this is something I'm calling the witch evader. So we've got a few down there hanging out. Oh, there's a chicken in there. That's great. I'm going to have to get him later. And then what happens is they go up 32 blocks above that top ceiling right there and they drop onto a hopper and then I collect all of the droppers that are that the drops that they provide. So let's go take a look at what uh, what I've done so far. That's the last one in that batch. And things have been going pretty well. I left my character signed in for about an hour or so this morning, and that, along with some other digging and stuff that I've done below, has resulted in a not so bad haul. But what uh, we're going to be doing, I've mentioned this before, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into our base. And so we're going to be doing things between here and up there and even above. Okay, so we'll see that as time goes by. And as that happens, we're going to be spending, we're going to be spending, excuse me, be spending more time further up, which means that this thing will be running at better efficiency than just hanging out here on the ground but we need to go take a look at something else that I showed you a little bit of last time and I had not done much work on it but I spent most of my week working on this thing just getting it finished do we need anything okay we're all done for now I've been chucking items in there but we don't need anything from there at the moment Okay, that's a little bit tricky, but again, this is not permanent, so here we go. Uh, anything up here? Any changes? No, no. Now, I've refilled this a little bit. Airy came by and picked up some because the Enderman farm is currently going on. You might want to check out Dustpox's channel because he's been working on it, so check that out I have yet to see any videos from it so he's probably working on that as we speak and here is the skeleton grinder I showed you earlier 
the spawner itself. And what I've gone ahead and done is a lot of the work behind the scenes. So what we're going to do, we need to flip that. And that opens things up. Let's turn this thing on so we can see what goes on. You can hear them almost immediately drop. And let's go upstairs. Maybe we can find... No, there's not much we can get into there. We'll have to go from a different angle. But let's take a look at the the various features that are available here. We've got our enchanting area. We've got a repair station. And that thing's probably going to need to be replaced soon. The inner chest. And then storage. And we've got some bones and stuff in there. Arrows. And then what I've done is gone ahead and split some of this stuff out. Got some bows coming in. And the skeletons hang out there this thing turns on the farm so when that light is on then that means that the spawner is running and the skeletons drop into here and they hang out on top of this this hopper here let's go up top and see if we can see anything go up here yep it's kind of Come on, come on. It's kind of interesting to get to. Here we go. So while the that uh, one switch is on, that means that these lights are off, and so the spawner, which is right below that block, will be spawning off skeletons. And it's pretty simple. It's a direct line up from that switch to here. This inverts it, so we only invert once, and we don't have any lag associated with changing the torches. There's no, no uh, tick delay or anything like that. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to pop down. I've got Feather Falling 4, so it's not that big of a deal. And then, uh, as you may have figured, this has to do with the collection area. And those skeletons are hanging out on top of hoppers, or up on top of a hopper. And that spits the items into a item elevator you know one of those fancy ones and that carries the items up to here and it goes into a little sorting system right here and we sort off the bones and the arrows and then everything else just drops down into here any extra goes into now, I need to fix that actually, but any extra goes into this dropper, which shoots the items. Can we get to there easily? Hopefully I'll be able to get back. And it just shoots those items into that piece of cactus right there. And I should be able to get through right here. And I'll just fix my mess. Yep, put this back right like that. And right like that. And there we go. The other thing that I need to show you is the mechanism itself for crushing these guys. And I think I can get into that right here. Yeah. Okay. So it gets rather loud. So let me turn down hostile mob sounds. Okay. Get ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that. Okay. And that's a little crusher circuit. And that takes most of them down to one hit. It is going to crush some completely. And then we can just come in. And, and you know the drill. If you've seen one of these, you know how it goes. So I don't need to do that. Let's just take a look at the redstone here. As you might imagine... That light is the light with the switch on the front. And that's a direct current into here. We get a little single pulse out of this, this rising edge detector. And that briefly unlocks that redstone torch, which unlocks the item in this quiet hopper timer. And the other side there, when items are starting to fill up over here, we get a signal out of here and what that does is it pushes this 
piston or extends this piston which pushes that block and that crushes the skeletons until they are down to one hit okay so it's the same design like I used in a spider farm on my previous multiplayer series it's just the timings are a little bit different and do we need anything else I do need that I have an infinity bow now as a result of I can't remember where I found that it's here or somewhere but uh, one other thing is that this this uh, what is it lever also shoves a piston up top which closes off this chamber to further skeletons and so then we get some more in there we're just gonna turn that off we don't we don't need a bunch of those hanging out right now is that all of them yeah let's just get these guys don't want to leave XP hanging around and there we go let's just get these guys I know I don't have to with the sword but yeah there we go nothing extra okay all right well that is the skeleton farm and let's take a look at something else that I have started work on but we've still got a lot of work to do I have found yep there we go I've dug out some stuff is that it this yeah okay that other one looked larger than it actually was we've got three slime chunks right in a row and actually that's one this is one this is one oh already got another one hello get dead you know what thank you thank you for donating okay there we go and oddly enough this is also one but I'm not gonna dig it out as it goes right into my my uh, what is that stairway right there okay well so far I have shown you the witch farm I've shown you the skeleton farm that took me quite a while to get that just right I ended up doing a couple of different designs on the floor sometimes the skeletons would get caught up sometimes they they get caught up coming into the trap area sometimes they get caught up in the water streams it was it was kind of strange so I ended up going with slightly less efficient design but they don't get clogged up anymore so um, I am fine with that what I'm gonna do now is get ready to go to spawn and we're gonna take care of an errand that I have to do there and before we do I am going to unload a bunch of stuff into the ender chest because uh, Aniki had some problems in the nether the other day a pigman walked right in front of Aniki's pick and well there was a little bit of a battle I don't have any clips from that because um, I just uh, I just didn't bother going into the nether but I think Aniki got it taken care of and uh, I think so Aerie's been over here since then but I'm just gonna be safe pig you don't mess around with pigmen so let me get a few supplies ready and we're gonna go take care of an errand at spawn all right see you in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we're back at spawn I have collected a few things here we need a chest a sign and this book yep we are going to be taking something to Condrix base and that is going to be a little bit interesting to get to yes interesting because Kondrick has made his home up in this mountain up here let's see can we get yeah there we go let me show you which one he's up there yep you see that he's been making some pathways up there we're gonna head up there I shouldn't shouldn't have any spoilers but what we're gonna do is get up into the base and I'll just poke around real quick before I really start recording there but one thing we need to do is just have a little chat while we do that and um, let's go let's go on up okay so he has this waterfall that 
he tends to take up. And I've never been one for being really good at climbing up waterfalls. It's a, it's a new skill, but to get to Condrick's place, I pretty much have to. See that? Yeah. Yeah, this is an exercise in futility. Okay, we'll try that. And I'll have to pop out a little bit just to get some air. Okay, there we go. And he's got a little inset area here somewhere. That's it. Is that? Nope. That's just a little air pocket. Come on. Up, 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 up. Um, how are we doing? We still got a little bit, a little bit more to go. All right. So, a couple of things. I have started the process of the new PC. A computer case went on sale that fits within my budget parameters and my um, and my my new specs. So. Yeah, so I've, I bought the case, and it should be coming soon, and I'm just going to be getting the pieces here and there. And, uh, and yeah, so that's, that's pretty exciting. I, I'm looking forward to building a new PC. It's been a long time since I've built one. I've had laptops since I built my last one, and that was in 2006. Yep, yep, 2006. All right, so here we go. We're at Condrick's base. Sorry for that short little thing there. I meant to have a little bit more time to chat. Um, I'm not going to go up there. Uh, Kondrick's already shown this stuff off right here. I just won't go through the chest. But what we're going to do is set up chest. Give him a little sign. Shift and hold. And we're going to call this a modest proposal. Kondrick has expressed a, a uh, disbelief in his ability to make nice looking builds and I don't know where he gets it gets that idea from because if you've seen the last two crafty season he did a really good job around his base and especially on the nether tunnel with D he did a great job on it so I don't know where he gets that idea but hey we're gonna we're gonna help him out he has expressed frustration as to what to do with this area and with his base in general and so what I'm gonna do here we go I'm just gonna skim through that saying I was watching a recent video of yours where you seemed to express some frustration in regards to creative building now, I'm not an expert by any means but I wouldn't mind helping out a friend so what if we were to work on a design for your base together if you like the idea let me know and I will bring over some materials and we can start planning so we're going to leave this for him. I will let him know that I left that in Skype. And we'll see what he says. So maybe in the, I don't know, not so distant future, we will see a little bit of a, a collab going with Mr. Kondrick, which should be pretty interesting. So hopefully he goes for that, and I definitely will bring over some materials, and we'll have some fun with that. There's a zombie. And a skeleton somewhere. Oh, and a witch. It is dangerous over here. Kondrick, you need an elevator. Soon. Very, very soon. Yep, yep, this is uh, dangerous. But that's the joy of the amplified terrain. Get these crazy overhangs, and that leaves shadows all over the place. One of the joys of such terrain. So yeah, there we go. Oh, and I'm on the backside of the spawn spawn road. But that is going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I've taken care of my desired errand for the day. What is that? Where is that? This is Aerie's house. And spawn, I guess, is over here. 
Oh yeah, there we go. I can get down from here. Feather falling four for the win, and it would help if I ate. Yep. Alright, so you've seen some of what I've done at my base. We've got a few more things to do. That slime farm that I showed you. We're going to be working on that off camera, most likely. And we'll get that going. But uh, that is it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the witch farm. And about the skeleton grinder. And about working with Kondrick. If you got any ideas for things that you might want to see with his base. If you've got any design suggestions. Go take a look at his last video. That was with the Ender Dragon. Go take a look at it. And you can see him digging that out. If you've got some ideas there, let me know. Let Kondrick know. And we'll see what we can do, okay? That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.